When the 2013 Lions squad was announced, the omission of this year's European Player of the Year caused much debate. But he hadn't been wiped from Warren Gatlin's checklist. He spoke to me before the squad announcement and just said that, um, would I be, could I be on that plane? Um, and I said, uh, I couldn't give him that guarantee because of the Toulon final. I just said, look, our efforts are here going to the last day. We, we desperately want to you know, make, make something good of this, of this season, make the, the most of this season. And, and therefore, you know, I, I, my loyalty lies here with this team who have looked after me for, for, so, yeah, for so long and so well. And I, I want to do the best I can here. Toulon's star-studded side reached both the French and European finals. Only Clermont stood between Wilkinson and the Heineken Cup, one of the few titles to have eluded him during his illustrious career. It always seemed to be just one of those things that happened to the, the Leinsters and the Munsters and the Leicesters and, and the, these guys. And then all of a sudden, you know, this year we, we found ourselves in the quarterfinals, found ourselves in the semi-finals, found ourselves in the final, and then you're on that stage and you realise that uh, it's one of those things that doesn't happen very often and if you get to be there once and you get to do it once and you're a very, very lucky person, now I realise that that mysterious thing is why it's so mysterious is because it takes so much effort, so many things to fall into place just to win by a point. For us to have achieved that is, is something that uh, I'll remember forever and I'm so glad it's, it's, it's happened. The newly crowned European champions then face Cast for the French Championship. You spend all year and everything goes into being there and you get there and you get that one opportunity and when it doesn't happen, it's the, it's the same story as the Heineken Cup but without the happy ending, you then realise that you go back to the start and you've got to do it all again. There's no such thing as a, an easy game in any stretch and any team can beat any team. You spend a whole year playing like that, it's, it's draining to get to the end and yeah, we didn't have our best performance and we, we finished just short. It's been a, a great season because we got there and, and we won the Heineken Cup but in a way, it's been a disappointing one because we lost the last game we, we had. We caught up with Wilkinson when he returned to his first club, Newcastle, to help promote the Gillette Great Starts programme. The scheme focuses on developing coaching standards. My coaching it tends to be more of an individual um, based thing. That's what drives me, is that kind of connection between one person to another, being able to get get right in at that that level of, of understanding someone and helping them get to exactly where they want to go. It's anything from emotional, mental, um, physical, but then also the, the, the precise skill angle as well is what really drives me, I guess. British and Irish eyes are now firmly focused on Australia, where in 2001, a youthful Wilkinson made his Lions test debut in Brisbane. The sea of red in that first test in the stadium is I'll never forget that, you know, people say, what, what's the highlights of your career? That game is in the top five. Walking onto that field and just seeing that and saying, this is, this is, oh, this is unbelievable. And then winning the game that we did. Unfortunately, it didn't quite come through at the end, but it was, it was a, it was a fabulous tour. I not often watch rugby, but some of those games, I just, uh, I'd love to, to watch them again. There are many of his loyal fans who still believe that he should be in Australia with the Lions, but Wilkinson is, above all, a realist. I've just had a little operation on my groin straight after the season because I was unable to train at the end of the year. Basically, my performances were, were struggling because of that. I was less and less able to do what I wanted to do, so I've had to get that in now. At the end of the season, unfortunately for me, it does become a situation of saying, well, I've got another year on my contract, a year I desperately want to make the most of. It, it will be my last year. and. I want to, to attack that and I know that if I don't get myself ready for that, there won't be another season. I'll start where I, where I finished off, which is hanging on, not training, not being able to do my preparation, not feeling right for the games, not basically being 100%. So I'm a long way from 100% and, and I've got that to deal with at the moment. So, you know, if it, if it, if it ever did come about, then it would be a, a, big, a big discussion, but probably more, more or less on the unlikely side.